How you doing, young lady? The feeling that you're giving really drives me crazy. You don't have a play about the choke. I was at a loss of word first time that we spoke. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole, and I post videos on here every Sunday. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I officially hit a thousand subscribers, which is just crazy. So thank you all once again for subscribing and just for joining me here on YouTube. I really do appreciate it. But today's video, we will be doing a closet clean out. So this is kind of like a fall winter closet clean out. So at the moment, I only have my spring and summer pieces here. So I have like all like my dresses and everything and I do have crew necks and sweaters and stuff, but I don't have majority of like my warm winter clothing in my room. It's in my guest room. So today will be that day. We're just going to be doing the swap. It's not going to be anything crazy simply because I do primarily have enough storage for almost everything that I wear all year round. It's kind of just like a few drawers worth that I do have in my guest room. But apart from that, everything is here. So we're going to be doing that today. I'm just going to give you a little tour of what everything kind of looks like at the moment. Moment. but yes without further ado I hope you guys enjoy so this is what my closets looking like at the moment I do have a few select pieces that I have already gotten from my closet just because it has been chilly here lately so if you weren't aware I do live in Ontario and it has been getting quite cold today it feels like four so I do kind of need to buckle up and brace myself for winter this year so over here I have a lot of like dresses and summer tops and this chunk just really needs Needs to go as well as a few pieces here like my jean jackets and stuff just because I don't really reach for that but apart from that it is primarily just everything that I have in my drawers here so here's just my outfit of the day I'm wearing these white Aritzia sweatpants ice cream museum pink crew neck that my brother got me from New York it is so cute I just love the color but in here I have sorry I have like belts on here because I don't know what to do with these belts I think I'll put them in my closet actually i'll figure something out but i cannot have my belts right there so in here i just have like shirts and jeans and shorts and that kind of thing so we will be tackling that in here socks crew neck sweatpants my boyfriend's sweaters and then bikinis on the bottom so now that you kind of know the mess that we're working with let's just jump right on in for my closet i'm just gonna empty everything out put it on my bed that way i know how much space i have to work with First pile, primarily just dresses. Walk out the door in my little black dress. Been a long day and I need to. Second pile, we have dresses and then some shirts. Ugh, my arms already hurting and we just started. behind And this next pile is primarily just my jean jackets and then some oversized blouses just to wear as like bikini cover-ups. So I think what we have over here is a good start. As you can tell, there is a lot of stuff. Now that we've made some room, we can bring in my winter and fall stuff. So as you can tell, now I have my summer stuff and my winter fall stuff over here. So I'm just gonna put the summer stuff away. That way we have a clean slate and we can put it all in my closet. Turn the volume up all the way on my phone. Pull shit concrete on the so I honestly haven't even seen these pieces in so long, but this I did recently buy like a few months ago from the thrift store, and then the rest I've pretty much had for a long time. These are just some turtlenecks. These are just some plaid flannel tops. This one I've actually never worn. It is from Old Navy and it was on clearance for $14. And then this one, it is from American Eagle. And then this Zara plaid jacket. I have the matching blue one, which I thrifted. My best thrift ever. I thrifted this sweater as well. I think it is so beautiful, so practical. This one I also thrifted, but it is from Erie. And then this I received for Christmas one year from my boyfriend's parents. It is quite literally a sweater blanket, and I'm living for it. This one is just a really pretty fall color. And then this sweater is... Oh, I got this one from Marshalls, and I got this one from Forever 21. This sweater is super soft and fuzzy. I got it from Uniqlo. It's just very warm, so if you're ever chilly, pop this on and you will be hot. My 
final two sweaters. This one is a brown one I got from Marshalls. And then this one I got ages ago. I don't really know from where, but I just keep this in case there's like an ugly Christmas sweater kind of party. If I'm too serious and I might go crazy, I just sit away like what? So as you can see, these are the sweaters that I have. I primarily just tried to organize them by like plaid, thinner type sweaters. And then here I have a couple sports bras, which I think I'll probably move. And then just a workout top, workout sweater, and then just like my general sweaters, which I did try to color coordinate as best as I could. I am debating putting all my crewnecks over here. Let me think. I'll get back to you. Okay, so I actually decided just to kind of space everything out that way it's not all clumped together. And I am going to leave my crewnecks in my drawer just because it works. It's very simple. I can just pop it out. Okay, so I really don't know what to do with these, but I just think that I should like hang them. I don't really know. What do people do with belts? I wish I was like talking to you guys live because then you could tell me what to do. I only have three belts. I don't really wear belts often. So I'm thinking maybe I can just hang it on here i don't really like that let me show you what it's looking like this is what the room is looking like very nice and organized i would say now i think i'm just gonna check if i have anything else in that other room <laughs> My boyfriend got me they are the softest things it's like a dress these pjs my aunt got me she actually makes her own pajamas she has her own yorkie brand so if you are interested search her up on instagram yorkie great quality stuff so if you're interested definitely check them out and then these are just my classic pajama sets that i've had since i was probably 10. i don't know why i still fit in them but i do one thing I will get rid of are these shorts. I've had them for years. They just no longer fit. Now, these are my shorts, which I need to swap with my jeans. I also have too many jeans, so let's get rid of a pair of jeans. I think I will get rid of this pair. I just never wear them. And then these are my leggings. I have so many, but at the same time, I never have enough. I just have a ton of backup leggings just in case. These leggings are just way too tight, so I'm gonna have to get rid of these. And then I have a few in the wash, so that'll be that. Next, I have my summer tops. I think I'm gonna swap and put my long sleeves there and then my summer tops here. There we are. Let me show you what it looks like. This is just like my long sleeves kind of winter tops that I should reach for the most. Shorts just for working out or whatever and then sports bras. Over here, we just have jeans and then all my leggings. I have quite a few in the wash though, so don't worry. I have plenty more leggings. Down here, I have shorts that I just don't really want to put away in my guest room, so they'll just go here. I won't really reach for them. I might reach for like the sweat shorts and then these kind of biker shorts just with crew necks. They're very comfortable. And then over here, I just put all of my summer shirts. And then down here, I put my winter pajamas. So far, this is my little donate pile. I just have shorts 
shorts, leggings, another pair of shorts, top, a sports bra, to be continued. Moving on over here, I'm just going to put my two kind of more winter socks in here as well. And then I think I'm just going to get rid of my ankle socks. <laughs> Honestly, I might just give these back to my mom. I don't really like these socks. They don't really fit snug on your feet. And also, I just want to show you guys, look at the Halloween socks that I got. My boyfriend and I are having a Halloween spooky movie date night for Halloween next weekend, and I cannot wait. So we're doing Halloween baskets, and don't worry, I will probably vlog the whole weekend. Not like we're gonna be doing much, but I'm just gonna be vlogging our weekend, and we're doing Halloween baskets. So I got a pair of these for him as well. I know they are women's, but they're fuzzy socks. They can stretch they'll fit them four dollars from old navy so definitely go get some i want to go back and get some christmas socks and i'm also dying for a pair of halloween pajamas but i haven't found a pair that i like the ones at old navy they're like the legging type pjs and i don't like having tight stuff on me when i sleep that like oversized so i kind of just wanted a pair of like regular pants type thing but i haven't found them so i'm still on the hunt if you know of any cute halloween pjs let me know because i really do want some but these are so cute this is what my sock drawer is looking like. Nothing will change with my sweatpant drawer. Same thing with my crewnecks. I wear them all year round. Same thing with my boyfriend's sweaters. I wear them all year round. My bikinis on the very bottom. I'm just too lazy to move them, so they'll just stay there because I don't really need this drawer for anything wintry. Well, you guys, that about wraps up this fall winter closet clean out. I'm so happy that I got my stuff organized. It wasn't really too many things to get rid of just because all throughout the year, in all honesty, I am getting rid of pieces. I just, I don't really want to get rid of stuff just for the sake of getting rid of it if I know I can and will wear it. There are definitely some pieces that I am leaning towards getting rid of. I just can't pull the trigger just yet. I really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big ol' thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. That way you guys never miss any uploads. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. You're looking for a girl that'll treat you right. Have you looking for in the daytime with a light? You might be the type if I play my cards right. I'll find out by the end of the night. You expect me to just let you hit it, but will you still respect me if you can?